All right, so we'll do a little review of this game. So, Earthbound. Um, yeah, so you probably guessed that I'm not a huge fan of Earthbound. It, um, it was pretty boring for me. Um, but I should start out with the things that I did like about the game. What I like about the game is, uh, the graphics. I think the graphics are really good, and, uh, Tomboy told me that, uh, this, uh, a lot of the people who worked on this game went on to work on the Pokemon games, and I definitely see a similarity in graphics between the two games. There's also some other things, like the fact that you can ride a bike in this game, that's really, you know, that's like a trope that's in Pokemon, so I definitely see the similarities. And I always say, like, you know, this game uh, is kind of like Pokemon. It's like a 16-bit Pokemon, except without the Pokemon. Um, I like the design of the enemies, most of them. They have this, like, cool cartoon cartoonish look. And I really like the design of the towns. Like, they, they're they also charming, you know? Like, it's cool to just kind of walk through and explore a little bit and see what there is. The music um, is mostly good. You know, sometimes it can sound a little weird, but um, it never sounds bad, and most of the time it sounds pretty good. And I think that's what this game really oozes. It just oozes so much charm. And it's kind of neat how, like, it's a RPG, JRPG that takes place in the real world. And the game doesn't take itself seriously. Um, there's lots of jokes. And, you know, they're, they're genuinely funny. And I like that. The other kind of neat thing is the um, the fact that this game doesn't really have any grinding in it. You never have to grind, unlike most JRPGs, including Pokemon. So, um, I think I grinded at a, a total of three times, but it's probably just two times. Um, the other neat thing is... Like, it has, like, lots of little, little neat things, you know, like, you can, um... You know, if you're more powerful than a lot of enemies, if you're more powerful than the enemy, you can actually just kill it instantly without even going into the battle screen. And that's really cool. You know, once you become really powerful, it's just really satisfying to like do that insta-kill. Um, so, but... The fact is, is that I just, I didn't like the game. Um, it was really, really boring to me. Um, basically, in a JRPG, uh, or any kind of RPG, there's like maybe three major components to it, maybe four, um, that are important. The story... Um, exploration and combat to a lesser extent. Um, characters as well, but that goes with story. And it just, the game doesn't really excel at any of them. You know, like, story, I honestly don't even really know what this game's about. Like, something about, you know, Gig Yes, some alien that's trying to take over the world. And that's about it. Like, it, it kind of sets up the story in the beginning, and then that's it. Like, it, it doesn't really do anything besides that with the story. Um, which would be okay if it made up for it in other ways. Uh, it doesn't really have much in terms of exploration, either. Like, that's the biggest problem I have with it, in fact, is that the progression from... What you're supposed to do next, you know, you know, one thing to the next to the next, is so obtuse sometimes. I mean, there is a hint place that you can find in some towns, but 
you know, even getting to that point in the beginning of the game can be an obstacle. Like, a lot of people, I've talked to other people who've tried to play this game, they didn't even know how to, you know, get through the first section of the game. So it can be really obtuse. And it's not good game design to rely upon, you know, a hint place like that. It does help, but sometimes, like, knowing what you're supposed to do next, there'll be, like, one little quip, like, four hours ago. <laughs> and that you'll totally forget. Um, and that's your only clue as to what you're supposed to do next. Or you might have an item that you picked up, and then, like, five hours later, you're supposed to use it. Um... And it's just not good. Uh, there was one part in the game where you have to wait at a waterfall for, like, a couple of minutes and just stand there. You know, and, like, yeah, there was someone who did mention something like that, that you're supposed to do it, but it's not, like, there's no puzzle solving in the game. And it's just obtuse and doesn't feel good. Um, the combat, the actual gameplay... Is boring. Like the, the the battles in this game are some of the worst I've seen in any JRPG. Um, you know, it's like, you know, I, like I said in, in the beginning, this game is like Pokemon without the Pokemon. And like in Pokemon, the battling is actually pretty fun because you collect different Pokemon and you know battling them is pretty fun and leveling them up. In this. The battles are so bare bone, like they even look like the battle screen even looks bad. Like it looks fairly terrible. Um, some of the enemy designs look pretty cool, like I mentioned before, but the battle screen itself is so bare bones. You saw it. Like the backgrounds is just this weird psychedelic thing. And it doesn't look good. Um and the fact that you don't have to grind, you know, that's kinda of like a mixed blessing. I'm more willing to say it's a good thing, but at the same time, you know, like, there's no, like, strategy involved, really. You know, there's so many spell, there's a lot of spells, but most of them are just totally useless. And in the beginning of the game, you don't use a lot of stuff. Like, most of the time, you're just attacking, and that's it, you know? Like, part of the, the fun of a game is to use interesting spells. Like, that's one of the things I like about, like, Final Fantasy 1. Is that you get like these cool spells, but none of the spells in this game are really fun to use. And so it just becomes very repetitive feeling. You know, you're just going through the motions. Um, there's some strategy, like as you saw there. Um, you can that's one of the good things about this game. Is that you could see the enemies on the actual map, I guess. Um, they're not hidden like in Final Fantasy. Aren't random encounters. You can actually see them, and there's some strategy involved in like uh, how you take them. If they can take you from behind, you get that red screen, and then they have the advantage, and vice versa. So that's kind of neat, but you know, it's not the only game that did that. You know, Grandia did that as well, but this did that before Grandia, but Chrono, Chrono Trigger did it as well, so... Yeah. So it's it's a neat game. I can see why people do like it. It has a lot of charm. Um but yeah, it was pretty boring for me. Um I am glad that I did play it finally. You know, it, it's good to experience, but it is very long, and if you're not enjoying it, you know, it's it's a lot of gameplay to go through uh, where you're not having fun. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, I was talking about this with another friend of mine, and I said, like, basically, you know, the ultimate version of this is basically Pokemon, you know? Like, if, if you want a game like, like this, um where all the, the flaws are addressed, then yeah, Pokemon's the way to go. And that's all I gotta say. <laughs>